Hey guys, Chilbo here once again, playing Fortune and Glory. This is round number four. All right. So last we left off, we have no cliffhangers, nothing's going on other than uh, we have six fortune, the mob has four, and we were just on our way to the the old jungle there. I think we're going to kill that. I'm going to let Vanessa Love take that when she comes out because she's going to ha still have to try to find that jungle. I am now going to go over to the Sahara where we just put out the old Shield of Atlantis. We're going to try to do that. It's, it's five fortune and it's only three danger, so and I could find it right away in the Sahara. So let's see what happens. All right, let's roll our die. All right, well, we got to we could choose, so I'm going to take that four. And my movement is simple. There I go. And I made it into there. Could have made it in there, but then I would have had to still find the uh, the Amazon uh, Falls. So let her deal with that. All right, I'm over here. We're in the Sahara. And we're ready to adventure, aren't we? All right, let's draw, grab a danger and see what we got. Well, it's the old wonderful Agents of Evil <sighs> danger. I hate this one. All right. Well, seems you're not the only one looking for this artifact. Yeah, I guess not. I have to draw a random villain and add them to the adventure. So, uh, I have the four remaining random villains out. Just going to roll a die. And, of course, we roll the five. And, you know, I'll tell you. These are the... <laughs> Jeez! Okay. Uh, there's a one. Okay. So, Colonel Stahl... <laughs> Colonel Stahl, yeah, he's great. Well, all right, I think I could sneak past him. The whole thing is I got to sneak past this guy because now he's into the uh, into the adventure with me. So let's put him on the board. All right, Colonel Stahl has been put on the board. I'm going to keep his card right next to him because he really isn't part of the, uh, the game, but he is going to be part of this adventure. I have to sneak past him first. That's my first danger. So sneaking past him is going to get me a glory of four. And then I can uh, maybe continue to uh, search there because I still have to sneak past him again. So the first adventure is to try to, the first danger is to try to sneak past him out of the three dangers that I got to do. All right, so let's see. You got to call out a number. He's three search dice. I'm going to call out a one. And I do sneak past him successfully. I didn't want to roll a one, so I didn't. So basically what this card says uh if I'm discovered, so I'm not. So anyway, the danger is passed. That's four glory. I'm going to put that off to the side because I'm going to press on. Well, you know what? Am I going to press on? Am I going to press on? Um, I don't know because now he's going to continue to, even if I leave there, He's going to continue to search. And he could also find that artifact. And that's not going to be uh, very good. Hmm. So I am going to stay there. I'm going to stay there and I got to search and I got to press on. There's the four glory I'm dealing with. So uh, the Agents of Evil card has been passed. And that's my first success. Let me grab a success marker. Put it on my card. Now, I'm pressing on. Because I'm pressing on, I actually have to sneak past the villain. That's how that works. All right. So this is for number two. My second danger to try to pass. So I got to sneak past him first. I'm going to roll a uh, one again. I don't want to roll a one, but I'm going to call one. And I did. All right. I've been rolling pretty high this game. That's why I'm going with one. All right. So because I successfully sneaked past him. I get another adventure card. And this one is, core, uh, is of course, called The Secret Ritual. Uh, it's a glory. It's your right. You've stumbled into a clandestine ritual of the dark arts. Sneak by undetected or break up the party to get to the bottom of what's going on here. All right. Well, this is a big one. I need an agility four plus four times or I got to just fight the crimson hand. You know what? I think I'm going to fight the Crimson Hand because I'm really doing well with my uh, 
with my stuff here. So let's see, where's the Crimson Hand here? Here we go. All right. We're going to fight the Crimson Hand. They're going to get only two fight dice, but they gain a fight dice for each wound that they've taken. But hopefully I can get them in one shot here. So they're going to get their two fight dice. I'm going to grab my three, five, seven. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's that's um, one more is seven. All right, there's our seven fight dice. So there are two fight dice. And guess what? I also get a defense of two, so I don't think we're going to have much of a problem here. Let's see what we get. All right. Well, I definitely wounded them four times. They have no defense value, so they're dead. And they hit me twice, but because of good old Sam here, he defends me. And Duke Dudley has a defense, so I take zero wounds. And they are obliterated, Crimson Hand. All right. It's pretty good. I like that. Uh, the Crimson Hand, you get their glory, and you get it right away. They're for glory. So I get that right away. Every time you fight an enemy, you get the glory right away. So it just took a five. So that's another danger pass. That is my second danger out of the three that I need. And that's another success. And we got one more to succeed here. But I first have to sneak past the villain. Ah, uh, wonderful. All right, here we go. He's three. I'm going to call a one again because, I don't know, my luck is running out. I don't know. Let's try one. Ah, uh, there it is, a one. All right, so we have to do one fight round uh, with the villain. Which isn't really a, a major deal. Uh, but he does have five. So he gets his five fight dice. And I, of course, get my seven. Alright. Here we go. And again, we're just going to take some wounds here. But we don't know. Let's see what we can do to him. Well, I hit him one, two, three, four. I hit him five times. He hit me three times. Hit me three times, but I defend twice, so I do get a wound. And I hit him five times, so that's awesome. So he gets five wounds. Oh, uh, no, he, well, he has a defensive one, so he actually has four wounds. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. All right, he gets four wounds. That's fine. That's fine. But it doesn't matter because now that I did the round with him, I get to do my final danger. And let's see what it is. Good old quicksand. All right, Mr. Zukov uh, on it. All right. Well, stumbled into quicksand. Get free before you sink. Agility five or more twice. And if I'm at a jungle, which I am not, it would have cost me an extra one, but... Uh, we don't want to discard that ally if we fail because we kind of want Sam with us. So let's see what we could do with Mr. Quicksand here. All right, we got uh, agility five plus. My agility is three. So we're going to roll our three dice. This is the first time I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> All right, five plus twice. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We didn't do it. I can't exert because it's not a cliffhanger. And if the test has failed, do not flip to the cliffhanger. Instead, discard an ally that is with you and start the test again. Then I fail. Well, oh my goodness. Mr. Sam, we just lost you in quicksand. These are sad days. He was giving us plus two combat and a defense of one. All right, Mr. Sam is out of the game. But now we have to try. It looks like we probably climbed over him to get out of the quicksand. But that's what we got to do to win, right? <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. There's one success. So we got one. One more success and we do it. And we did it. All right, Mr. Sam. Sorry I had to 
step on your head to get out of the quicksand, but we did it. I succeeded. More importantly, I get the three glory on here plus the four there, so that's seven glory. I also get it. That's another success, <coughs> which means that we have succeeded. Anyway, seven glory come into my play here. I'm going to put two there, change that to a five. We now have a total of 13 glory, and the dangers are succeeded. All three of them that I needed to do. We snuck past the villain, well, almost every time, but didn't matter. So let's clean him up. We'll get him out of here, and we're going to take that adventure and see what we got. All right, we just picked up the old Shield of Atlantis. It has no special um, text to it, so we don't have to worry about what it says because it doesn't. It's going to be worth five glory once we sell it, and we're going to sell it, like, uh, yeah, almost immediately. All right, we uh, cleaned him out. He doesn't remain on the board. He only stays for the adventure, Colonel Stahl, So, because uh, he was a random villain that was added on. And uh, there we go. All right, we're mixing an adventure, but we'll we'll fix that up. That was our turn. That was pretty uh, adventurous. I think we did uh, rather well on that one. I still have a wound, but again, no big deal. All right. Next step is the old villain event. All right. The Surge of Darkness. Okay, can't be good. It's got darkness in it. All villains immediately take an extra villain adventure step. Oh, jeez. And we move the villain track one step forward. So, we go from a four to a five on the villain track. And right now, before we even, uh, they get a nice villain adventure step right now. That means they just perform their adventures. So basically, we got Mr. Icebox Eddie at that temple. He's got his three search dice. And he rolled three successes. Oh, boy. All right, so that's that would give three dangers to the card, but because the card has three dangers on it, it gets an immediate collapse token. Now it's got three on there, but he also gets three fortune. So that three fortune turns into another tick on their vile organization track. All right. Well, this isn't that great, but he has to roll to see if this thing collapses. That's three collapse tokens on there. That's three dice. Any ones? Yes, baby! That green was out. The temple collapses on him. Are we happy? Yes, we is. All right. That is a collapsed temple. Everything comes off here. Nobody gets anything here. This is all dead. The only thing that happens to a villain now, when a temple collapses, this could go away too. Because nobody gets it. When a temple collapses, the villain has to roll for d6 hits. Now he has a defense of one, so he might defend a few of them. So let's see what happens. All right, he that's three. So he gets three hits, but you know what? It's not enough to knock him out. Because he had six wounds anyway, so uh, it's fine. So he does come back, but he is delayed because he got collapsed. His wound markers come off. So delay, we put him on his side to show him that he got delayed. Now she gets her free uh, adventure phase because we're still working on the freebies of this thing. They get an, an extra adventure phase. She's going to come out. Let's see where she's going to be going. That temple's gone. She only has a choice of, well, it's either six or the four. She's going to go to the six, the Tears of Loki. So she's going to go to that, like we thought she would, to the Amazon jungle. So we got her in the jungle. So that was her adventure phase. That was their free adventure phase. 
Now they do their adventure phase. Uh, so let's go over to Icebox Eddie, who's first. All he does is stand up because he was delayed from our little knockdown on that temple, which was very nice. That's what happens when you keep poking around. All right, Miss uh, Vanessa Love. Well, she's actually going to search, but she can't search yet until she finds that that jungle. So on a roll of four, five, or six, she finds it. And she does. Ah, it figures. So I'm going to put her on here to show that she actually found it. So wonderful, she finds it. And again, if she didn't find it, we'd have to put a little explore token on here every time. And then we'd just get to roll more dice as, as the game progressed to make it easier to find. But she found it on the first time. So now she gets to dig straight away. And she gets four dice. And she, needs, if she gets four successes. Well, she got three. Oh, my heavens. It's terrible. All right, so three successes. Let's get the three successes. Oh, we're going to put them on her. Sorry. All right. She's got her three successes out of the four that she needs to recover that artifact. Wow, that's not great. All right, so now we got to roll to see if the mobsters come on the board. They do, and we'll check a random city for them. Oh, terrible. And this is why it's terrible. I just drew Washington, D.C., that's a city that already has a mobster on it. And if that ever happens, that's not good. <laughs> no mobsters get placed, but the villain track goes up one. So we're going from a six to a seven. So that's not great. But no mobster does get placed. It's just that if there's a mobster in the city already, you just move up the track once. So... Not good news. All right, so that was him coming out. They get one outpost, so they get one fortune. They have none in their card. Now they have one. So that doesn't tick up the uh, the track. That, my friends, is the end of that large phase. All right, so we're, we're at six, but we're going to hopefully sell the shield as soon as we can, which will be next turn. The mob has seven. All right, so they're moving right along here. That was the end of turn four. We're going to see you in turn five. See what happens. Chillbo out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.